This is number three and number four. I am not going to talk about the measurements this time because my expectation is that you can, uh, but I will talk about the shapes a little bit. On number three here, if we look at this, remember we're trying to pretend like it's a little guy who's standing over here. And as he looks at this front view, front view, as he looks at this front view, he's gonna see that there is a red pillar here, there's gonna be a red pillar here, an L, and a little piece left over. And so when you squish all those together, it's gonna to make one big rectangle that's divided into different shapes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, down four. This is where I'm gonna start. I have a height. And I'm going to let you look at that height. Remember, you can look at the original to find those heights. Uh, I have a width. And... Yep, I'm right on that. Okay, I have... It is a giant rectangle to begin with. And it is divided up into different places. There's my L and there's my front view. So we're gonna make our projection lines so we can see where everything is gonna line up when we go to the top view. There are five of them there as we go to the top view. Someone said to me the other day that Mr. K, I don't really understand what I'm looking at. And so this is the four different red pieces on this view. And so there's four different ones. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I went down four, so I'm gonna go up four. One, two, three, four. Here's where I'm gonna start my top view, mirroring it up. When I look at my top view, it has this one kind of backwards F shape, and then the little piece coming across over here. I know my depth, it's not the normal depth of all the others. So you're gonna to need to look at that measurement. We come across, it's gonna go back. And again, I'm looking at the measurements to know what this is supposed to be. And I can see where to stop by looking at these projection lines that I created, these construction lines. I have a little piece coming across right here. There's my F shape, that backwards F shape, and my uh, little piece at the bottom down here. I'm gonna color it again just to show you what those measurements are. Go back and now I'm going to do my side view. Looking at all my projections there, these construction lines so that you can see them. And again, one, two, three on this side, one, two, three on this side. I'm going to start right there. My height. I'm drawing this L shape and the square to begin with. And there's that. We have this square. And then the new part here is that there's a hidden line. And if we could see through this, we would be able to see that there is, it's, this is hidden behind all this. So to make a hidden line, we are gonna make a dashed line where it's supposed to be and it goes all the way down because this line goes all the way down to the bottom. It's all the way down. So there is my hidden line. And this is the uh, side view. So we're gonna color it green. Just to show you what's there. And again, this one 
right here would be this green view right here. And there you go. I need to put some dimensions on here. We're gonna start with our width. We have our total dimension, which is gonna be my arrow, do my dimension lines, my extension lines. Remember, extension lines don't touch. And this is gonna be 2.25. And we wanna stack these almost like an upside down wedding cake. So now I have one going from here to the edge. Put my arrow, and this is gonna be 1.75. Oops, and I touched it down at the bottom. Gosh, Mr. K, always making mistakes. Always making mistakes. So this measurement is 1.25. And my final one here, arrow 0.5, arrow. And so we have 0.5, and this is 75 plus 0.5 is 1.25. And then 1.25 plus 0.5 is 175. And 1.75 plus 0.5 is 2.25. And so now we have our width measurements. I'm gonna do my height measurements. We have just two of those height measurements. We have the total. Is going to be 1.5 and then we have this measurement here it's going to be 1.0 finally we have our depth measurements and there's going to be three depth measurements remember we have this hidden spot when we're looking at this direction there's this hidden spot we want our measurements just like we did here all to come from one side I don't want to put them in the middle all coming from one side I know my total is going to be 1.75. And then this measurement here is going to be 1.0. And now I don't want to drag the line across because then that becomes part of the shape. What I want to do is I want to put an arrow here and my extension line coming off of here and put it in between these two little buck teeth. If you were looking at and seeing that those are buck teeth, it's in the gap, and this is gonna be 0.75. And there are my measurements. And that is shape number three. Remember to sign it, date it, 9-29-2020. And this is shape three and you need a witness and that's it that is our uh, shape number three finished find somebody to witness your work Alrighty, so this is shape five. We did them a little bit of out of order. We did one, two, three, five, four, seven, eight, nine. And uh, so we're starting with uh, shape five here. Again, I am not going to talk about the dimensions. That's for you to figure out and look at, but I am gonna talk about how do you make the uh, orthographic projection. So. Start over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, down one, two, three, four. Here's where I'm gonna start. And three, there's my measurement for my height. There's my measurement for my width. Again, it's making a great big rectangle. And you say, but Mr. K, there's a U here. But when you look at it, if you're the little guy who's standing right here, this surface is going to be flat all the way across. So the surface is flat on the top here. And I'm going to come back and make that U shape. 
And when I make that U shape, we end up with being able to see the U and this purple slant. So when we start talking about the color, as I drop my pencil, when we start talking about the color, it would be the red on the bottom here, the U shape. And then we have the purple coming across the slanted piece. And we just happen to be looking at it straight on. An example of that would be this slanted piece. When you look at it straight on, it becomes a rectangle. So the slanted piece here, when you look at it straight on, it becomes a rectangle. So there's my uh, front view. Draw my projection lines so I know where everything is going. These would really be called uh, construction lines. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four, make it the same amount, mirror it on top. And so now we have our top view. And I don't even need to count because I know where the outside is because of my projection lines here. And again, it's gonna be flat across the back. It's gonna be flat across the front. This view right here becomes the front and we're looking at the top. And so the top has that in shape or U shape, upside down U shape. And we have our top view. And again, the top view is gonna show the blue on top but then if you're the bird flying over the top of this shape, if this was an imaginary building, you would be able to see the purple of the slanted piece. And again, that slanted piece becomes a rectangle. So looking down on it right here, you'd be able to see it as well as the blue. Now we're gonna to go to our side view. Again, I'm gonna draw my this one, my projection lines, this one, I'm gonna just eyeball where it needs to be and draw it across. So now, when I draw my uh, side view, I'm gonna one, two, three, start over one, two, three. In my side view, I know my height, I know my depth. This is gonna be that green wall that green wall there. And then we have this green wall also, and you'll notice that it is at a slant. And so you can't see it here, it's gonna be hidden behind it. So we will have a hidden line that is drawn. That hidden line, which is a dashed line, is gonna be this angle that you can't see over here, but you can see it right there, is that hidden line and they both be green. Now, so we have the total green because that's what you can see on this side, and then that one would be green also because it's that hidden line that's behind it there. Final thing we need to do is our uh, uh, dimensions, and we are going to start with my total dimension here. I'm gonna draw my dimension lines. My extension lines did not touch. And the total here is gonna be 2.25. We have a second one here. Make sure it doesn't touch. And remember, we're trying to make it like an upside down Christmas, I mean, a uh, wedding cake. So it's kind of stacked on top of each other. They're not chained together. This one's gonna be uh, 1.75. And then the final one is going to be right here, little tiny arrows, and this is going to be 0.5. Now when I do my height, I have two measurements over here. On the height, I have my total, which is going to be 1.5. And here, now one of the uh, rules of dimensioning is that you never dimension on a hidden line. So I'm not gonna draw this 
measurement coming off of here. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna draw that one. Now, I'm doing it from this measurement and so even though it's not the best decision, it's the next best decision. So I'm gonna draw this one coming off and it coming over here and I'm gonna draw that measurement. And I know that I said it's gotta have a gap. It has a gap. It's a gap from here, not here. And we have our measurements, extension, our uh, dimension lines, and it's gonna be 1.25. And so when we took it through the shape here, we drew it through the shape because that's the next best decision. This one you never dimension on hidden lines, so this would be the only way to do it. Now we're gonna do our depth, give the total, make my dimension lines. 1.5 and again we're going to have to do the same thing i can't do it on a hidden line over here so i'm going to draw my extension line coming off i have my gap it's the next best decision and my dimension lines 1.0 and there you go there are your dimensions for shape five I'm gonna sign my work. Today's date is 9-29-2020. I'm gonna uh, give it a description. This is shape five and I need a witness. And there you go. Someone needs to sign that showing that you did it and you are finished with shape five. Good luck on the other ones.